guys what's going on today I'm gonna show you guys how to fix a problem I've been having recently with my blue snowball now I got this blue snowball gosh a year or two ago and it's been working fine but I uh, recently I had to switch over my computer to a different motherboard and CPU and then I switched back to this motherboard and CPU that I'm using right now and um, what happened was since I and I was also on a different installation of Windows on a different drive anyway problem that happened was before snowball worked fine worked fine even on USB 3 ports afterwards snowball did not work fine at all on uh, it didn't work at all on USB 3 and it uh, cut out whenever I started a game so like if I would start up like War Thunder here start it up and then as soon as the application itself would launch the microphone would cut out which of course is very annoying so I had to use the microphone on my headset for a while so yeah it, it pretty much sucked I was like damn this really sucks this is a high quality microphone and it's just fucking up on me. So, um, I, I did some uh, some next level sleuthing. I found a solution to the problem, uh, courtesy of this Steam user right here, right here, this guy, and his little thing here, which is a little bit hard to understand. So that's why I'm here. I'm gonna walk you through. I'm gonna explain exactly what you had to, had to do to fix this now. Um, the fix that this is is disabling the um, the HDI compliant component of the device and for some reason that keeps it from cutting out when I when I start up a game now an important note to make is that um, once the game was started if I like restarted the microphone um, how I tested this was actually using OBS which hi OBS over here recording right now but anyway um, using the preview stream function in OBS if you restarted the pre uh, the stream I put that in quotations but if you restarted that then you would get the result of the microphone coming back to life in OBS at least um, I haven't had the opportunity to test it anywhere else but it seems pretty conclusive that it's functioning properly so let's uh, let's delve right into how we fix this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your control panel. No, not control panel. You're going to want to, well, yeah, control panel. Open up your control panel. There's a couple different ways you can do it, but I think control panel is a little bit easier. Um, then you're going to go to hardware and sound. No, you're not. You're going to go to view devices and printers. Eh. There you go. And apparently this takes a really long time. Like an insanely long fucking time to load. Wah 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 wah. Yeah, it, it like everything else loads up lickety split. This not so much. It's a little bit on the slower side of life. It likes to sit here, it likes to take its time. I blame I completely blame uh fucking all this shit. Anyway, so uh, where is my blue snowball? Here it is. All right, blue snowball. So, eh, got a driver error. Wonder why that is. Um, no, we don't need to troubleshoot. We need to go into properties. Um, wow, it's really fucked, isn't it? It's really had a bad day. But here you can see. Um, so let me show you that again. Come over here, blue snowball right click properties and you come over here and you go into hardware and you click on this and then uh, you can click properties again you get you, uh, um, gotta do all kinds of properties if you try and click something else it will beep at you it it's not a kind system at all um, and what you need to do furthermore opening even more windows 
because you didn't need more already. Uh, you go into, so this is, let me show you this one more time. You click this particular one. I mean, oh, you can double click it. Hey, that's pretty cool. So this particular one in the hardware tab, HDI compliant consumer control device, and it's a human in interface type. Uh, um, you click on it, you go to change settings, it'll pop up the window again. Make for sure it's the HDI compliant consumer control device. It's important that that's what it is. And you won't have this enable or you won't have a disable button right here. You're probably scared, but don't worry, it's here. So if I were to click enable, then this would be a disable button. Ah, so uh, that's that's fucking gay. So apparently, by just 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 by the act of turning the thing back on, it committed it committed suicide. It went away. Goodbye. So don't that. Yeah, it's pretty conclusive. That's the problem. I don't know if you guys noticed that it just cut the fuck out when I did that. I was like, fuck this shit. I'm gone. But yeah, enabling it killed my microphone. Disabling it brought it back. I don't know. What more conclusive, conclusive, well, it's not entirely enabling it. I had to reinitialize the device inside of um, OBS in order to get you guys the sound back. But yeah, that's that's the, the steps you have to go through. So once again, this is in control panel. In case you didn't catch it the first time, control panel, view devices and printers, takes forever to load, and then... When, when eventually it loads, you know, this wasn't a good idea. I shouldn't have done this. You guys can leave now. You're not getting any more information after this. You guys can leave. Um, all I'm going to do after this is if you didn't, like, try to in case you didn't get exactly what you needed the first time. If your microphone is already fixed, then bye. See ya. Y you can go. You can leave right now. In fact, you shouldn't even still be here. You should go now. But if you didn't get it, if I was too fast in my explaining, all right, you go into properties. That's you select your microphone, blue snowball. Um, sometimes it might be called you. It might have a different name. It may not always be called blue snowball. Um, you can check what it's called by going into recording devices and like find the microphone you're using and it'll say what it's called right underneath. It's pretty cool. Um, in order to check that, you come down to your start bar, right click here, click on recording devices, and go through. Find the one that is the snowball. You can do that uh, like if you're wearing headphones, take them off. You can figure out exactly which one by like flicking it, and it'll make a really loud sound. Sorry about that, guys. I'm demonstrating exactly what you need to do in order to, oh. Oh man, I got a fucking keyboard for a mouse. Didn't know that. All right. Anyway, then you can go into properties here. All right. Once again, left click to select it. Right click properties. Hardware tab. Click HDI compli uh, compliant consumer control device. Once again, you go to properties, or you could double click it. Change settings driver and then it will say disable there not enable if I do that again I'm gonna have to reinitialize my microphone again no one wants that we don't want to be in reinitializing microphones and shit you guys can just do it do as you please uh, do do as you please do what you need to do click the disable it will say disable not enable it for you it should say disable once you've clicked it it should say enable all right and then, yeah, you can, um, once that's all, make sure to hit OK and apply when the little warning message pops up. You click that as well. Um, yeah, uh, I hope that fixed your problem. If it didn't, 
Um, well, try a different Google search. That's that's gonna be my my piece of advice. Yeah. Um, common problems. Well, oh, shit. If you've stayed this long, sorry to have dragged this out. Anyway, common problems that can happen with the snowball if it's not working at all is um, there are some pretty common driver problems which I seem to still be experiencing hopefully I can figure those out as well maybe I'll make a video on that too um, but there are driver problems with USB 3 devices so if you plug it into USB 3 it's gonna it's gonna fucking die um, apparently it used to work on USB 3 for me and then after, after I, like, I didn't change anything. All I did was, like, took the motherboard and CPU and stuff out of my computer. Literally, all I did was pretty much I took the power supply out of my computer and put it in a different computer because I'm po too poor to get a new power supply. But I've got plenty of money for getting a fucking new motherboard and CPU for, for science-related testing. <clears throat> anyway, logical fallacies aside, uh... One, it, it did not like USB 3 after I had it rebuilt. And by rebuilt, I mean put the power supply back in. I don't, I don't understand what kind of effect there was. I'm sure there was some sort of Windows update or driver update of some other kind that happened during the month and a half, two month span when I had my other computer. Um, the, that, that existence of a contraption sitting out here on my desk. Literally, it wasn't in a case. The thing was just sitting on my desk. If you guys have stayed this long, you're, you're obviously subscribers. You're in it to win it. Alright. <laughs> you should have left by now. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope I could help you out, and have a good one. Crap, that's the wrong button. <laughs>